Hey, what's going on? Seth here. In this video, I wanted to show you a pretty darn helpful Chrome extension that I've been using quite a bit since I learned about it from my friend, Mike Balcom, who pointed this out to me. The more I've used it, the more I've realized like there is a ton of power behind this thing, if you know how to use it. I'm gonna show you right now. So the extension is called Glasp, and uh, there's a few different pricing options for this, but the one I've always used is just the free one. I've never paid for anything. It's pretty cool. What you do is you go to a YouTube video and you click on the video and watch it the way you normally would so now let's pick uh maybe this one here look at this map and right up here you're gonna see this new thing that isn't normally there what we're gonna do is click on this thing that looks like a little robot face and by default it's gonna take it to the summary which it doesn't have anything because it's on the free plan but if you click over here to transcript it's got the entire transcript of the entire video and you might be thinking okay who cares Seth what's the big deal with that well we can go ahead and copy it here and then go over to chat GPT or Claude or whatever your AI chat bot of choice happens to be and we're gonna paste the whole transcript in there just like this and depending on the video you're trying to watch or get this information from, I mean, there are a ton of different directions you could go with this. So just to give you an example here, we're going to say here is a YouTube transcript. We've already pasted it, so we can take that out. And we're going to say summarize the key points in bullet points, focusing on the most important ideas and takeaways. So this is like the most basic potential use of having an entire YouTube transcript like this. And essentially what this can do is give us a lot of the information without even having to watch the video. Uh, say if we're in a hurry, say if we don't have 20 minutes to sit down and watch the thing, we can see all the key points of it right here. It's pretty nice, but what else could we do with this? How else could this be useful? Well, let's say we're watching one of those videos and uh, maybe we're sensing a little bit of bias. Or heck, maybe we're even watching this video from Johnny Harris, very popular YouTuber. What if we're trying to find out if he has any bias in what he's saying? Well, we can find that out too. We could, again, take this exact same transcript and bring it over here. And this time we're gonna say, let's analyze this transcript for bias. Determine whether the content is objective or contains a bias. And if so, identify the type of bias, whether it's political, cultural, economic, and the direction it leans for or against a particular viewpoint or group. Provide examples from the text to support your conclusions. All right, so let's paste this transcript and see what it says. And just so you know, I have not watched this video at all, other than just the headline. I don't even know what the thing is about. So let's see what it says. The transcript contains some elements of bias, though it attempts to present a broad overview of Hezbollah's history and its role in Middle Eastern geopolitics. So it looks like there's some political bias. The transcript primarily reflects a perspective that aligns with Western geopolitical narratives. There's some cultural bias, directional leaning. It also talks about the objective aspects and the subjective aspects. So there you go. If you were at all curious about that, you could pull that out of a transcript. Or what's something else we could do here? Well, we could actually look at the same video or you know any other video that happens to be arguing a point or trying to tell you that something is a certain way or trying to convince you of something. And we could develop counter arguments to that. So if we put a prompt like this in there and say, this transcript presents a specific argument or viewpoint. And then we paste that transcript, identify the key points being made and develop logical evidence-based counter arguments for each point. Where possible, suggest sources or references that could support the rebuttals. Again, even at this point, I still don't even really know what this video is about other than just the information we've seen so far in ChatGPT and the title. I don't know if he's trying to make any arguments at all. Maybe he's not, but let's just go ahead and paste this in and we'll see what it does with it. So some of the key points and counter arguments are that Hezbollah is a threat to Israel and regional stability. The argument is that Hezbollah is portrayed as a significant military threat with its large arsenal of missiles and role in destabilizing the region. So some counter argument to that might be that while Hezbollah's military capabilities are undeniable, this narrative omits Israel's long history of incursions and operations in Lebanon, which have contributed to Hezbollah's growth as a defensive entity. And then it gives other arguments and counter arguments. Now, I probably should have picked a video with a lighter subject. My point here is not to make any geopolitical statements one way or the other, but my point is this can be a great way to help shore up your own thinking. Say if you see a video and you don't agree with what it says, 
this can kind of point out why what it's saying is wrong and why the counter arguments are right. Or if you watch a video that you do agree with, you could still use this to challenge your own thinking and make sure you have a well-rounded, deeper understanding of the subject and not just stuck in your own two-dimensional way of thinking without seeing the full picture. And for each one of these things, I mean, we could easily take this first one, for example, that we just talked about, click this little quotation thing, and now it's gonna bring it down here into the chat and we can say, please expand on this and expand explain context further and cite your sources. So if we weren't entirely clear or sure about one of these counter arguments, or we just wanted more information to really understand what it's talking about, what it's getting at, look at all this stuff. It's giving us tons of information. It's really helping to flesh out all the details in the story. We've even got links we can click on to support these arguments and counter arguments and all this stuff. It's pretty fascinating. I mean, I don't know about you, but at first I didn't realize I could do this just by having the YouTube transcript, but it's pretty useful. Let's look at one last use case. And by the way, there's 20 of these things I've put together for you. If you want to download these and use them at your leisure, all you have to do is click the link below and you can go to work with these things. But another one of these prompts here is to help you develop some FAQs or frequently asked questions about whatever this video is talking about. So say if you wanted to discuss this video with a group of people and just have a conversation about it, or say if you wanted to create a quiz for some reason about the subject of whatever this video is talking about, you could do that kind of thing here as well. So again, let's take this transcript, copy it again, put it back in here, and let's see what kind of FAQs it comes up with. All right, so it's gonna talk about who is Hezbollah? How did Hezbollah originate? What role did Iran play in Hezbollah's development? So stuff that, you know, you could probably do this on your own, but it would take you a lot more brain power and probably a lot more time. I mean, we'd have to watch the whole video to start with, but ChatGPT just took that right off our lap. And uh, as I see what ChatGPT can do with GLASP and these transcripts that it generates, as a YouTuber myself, I can't escape this thought that is this going to hurt YouTubers? Like if people don't really need to watch the videos all the way through anymore, it's definitely going to hurt the retention time for that video, which is also going to hurt its ranking, which is ultimately going to hurt the YouTuber because people won't see their videos as much. Say if everybody in the world started doing this. So there you go. I guess if you really have a lot of loyalty to a YouTuber, then be sure to like, like their video and keep the video planned just so that they get some good retention time for it. But if you're in a hurry, if you just need to throw something together really quickly, you can use this GLASP tool to get these transcripts. And I hope you know, I'm hardly even scratching the surface with what you can do once you have a full YouTube transcript like this. And again, it's free. At least at the time of this recording, it's free. Even if it wasn't, 10 bucks a month would be a steal for what this can do if you actually use it. So again, go check out the GLASP extension. I'll link to that beneath this video. Also, be sure to download this list of prompts I put together for you if you're just curious how else you can use this. And if this all sounds interesting, if you want to learn more, be sure to check out the Pulse Inner Circle. So this is a school community that my friend Mike Balcom and I have put together, and we're sharing these kind of resources all the time. So if you want to stay up to speed and be on the cutting edge of all the stuff that's going on right now, how AI is changing every single week, every single day, that's what this community is all about. And we do this specifically in the context of real estate investors, but really anyone who's into entrepreneurship can find this stuff pretty darn useful because a lot of the stuff we talk about isn't necessarily real estate related. It has to do with business and life in general, but we kind of do it through the lens of real estate investing first. So pulseinnercircle.com is where you can go to check that out if you're interested. But otherwise, hope you found this useful. Talk to you next time.